Hello guys, and welcome back to another tutorial on how to make a 360 platformer using Scratch. Okay, so a 360 platformer is basically a platformer, but the platformer, the platforms, um, it rotates when you move. It's just like a 360 game, okay? So let's go right into it. So you notice that I have these two sprites, player and platforms. So I'll go to the player and you see, you see we have these nice, nice, nice platform player, okay? So we have idle, it's just an eye in the middle, right, left, up, and we have up right, and up left. So now in the platforms, there, so like, so make sure when you draw these platforms, first you make this big circle, and then you draw, um, your platforms just like that it's in the middle okay follow that and yes that's good and also add a portal okay nice so and name your platform level you one and you'll create a costume and name this Nothing. This is for the side hack. Okay, let's go. So let's go to the player and when green flag clicked, you broadcast start. When I receive start, you will go to front layer and Yes, we will broadcast respawn. Okay, and we'll make a variable named level full sprite. Delete the my variable sprite, and we'll set level to one. So when I receive respawn. We will just go to X, 0, Y, 50, like top, and we will, yes, that's it, okay. So, let's go to platforms. Um, when I receive start, we will... Make variables named speed turn for the sprite only, speed y for the sprite only. Okay, so we'll set both variables zero and you we'll put in a when I receive respawn and go to x zero y. Like, oh, and I'll use the size hack. So we'll switch costumes and nothing. Set size to 200, and we'll switch costume to level one. And we'll go to X. I give 270. Take that, and yeah, that's nice. Okay. At the very end, we'll point in direction 90. Okay, that's nice. Now let's go to platform. Okay, so... Oh, actually, I'll put the speed turn right here. Okay, so 
So when I receive start forever, we will change speed y by one. If key right arrow pressed, we will change speed time by negative zero point four. Nice number. Duplicate that. Left arrow key. Change speed turn by 0.4. We'll set speed turn to 0.8 multiplied by speed turn. And we will turn speed turn degrees. Let's test that. Go and yes, we have this nice turning movement now I'll add gravity and jump it okay and before we do that move this away and we'll make a block named tick one dot screen refresh so forever tick define tick put it there Blocks. So what we're going to do is if touching player will change y by negative one. Look at that. So four times. One, two, three, four. One more time. We'll change y by four. Then we'll turn. Uh, zero minus B ten degrees, and we'll set B turn to zero. Okay, and then below here, we'll change Y by speed Y. Okay, now. We will put in an if touching player will change y by zero minus p turn and then we'll set speed y to zero and then we will change y by one if up arrow pressed and touching player we will simply set speed y to negative 12 and we will change y by negative 1 hopefully you did put everything here let's test that so that platformer nice platformer okay so um i want to discuss this um the platformer is not in the negative 270. Hmm. negative 270. okay and we'll switch costume here i think It's not. Um, I think what we're going to do point. I think in the player I'll put in a zero. Dot. Oh, and the platform is on that. Well, a little twenty. Okay, so there we go. We have our nice platformer. So in the next part, I'll make um, we'll 
die if we touch the spikes and we'll make new levels when we touch the portal okay so thank you for watching please leave a like comment share and subscribe and peace